1958, Mel Tillis hears you playing guitar at an impromptu event down in Dade County Auditorium. He no, likes that was 58. 58, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. 58, yeah. Mel Tillis hears you playing guitar at an impromptu event down in Dade County at the Auditorium. He likes what he hears. He invites you up to Nashville with the promise of getting you a record deal. There's no record deal, but you do wind up watching a session with some major cats, including Boots Randolph on sax, Grady Martin and Harold Bradley on guitar. After you see this, you're smitten, and you know this is where you want to be and what you want to be doing. So you then get an offer to play guitar up there. Tell your dad you want to quit University of Miami and go to Nashville. He's not too keen at first, but eventually he sees how serious you are and he supports you. Get up to Nashville. You meet the guy who has this gig for you and he tells you, oh, sorry, I didn't hear back from you in time. We got somebody else. However, he says, we do need a drummer. Can you play the drums? And this is what went through your mind, paraphrasing from your book. You said, at this moment, I learned a lesson that would serve me well over the years. I knew if I said no, my Nashville days would be finished. And although my drum skills were very limited, with foolish confidence, I responded yes. And this becomes yet another pivotal moment for you. How did you have the awareness to come to that conclusion in that instant and then the confidence to respond the way you did? Well, I knew a little bit about drums. Uh, you know, I was in a rock and roll band. I had an excellent drummer named Jim Isbell. And uh, I figured, say no and you're done. And it and then it became uh, kind of a watchword for me from then on. Say yes and figure it out. Yeah. Uh, and it was pretty simple, very sim simple country music, and uh, you know, it not loud banging drums. Just keep the beat. And uh, the guy, I told the guy, he said, "Can you play drums?" I said, "Yes, but I don't have any." He said, "We'll get you some." That was awesome. So this guy, artist who didn't know me from Adam, went out and co-signed a note for me to buy a set of drums. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty. We played two weeks in Toronto at a hotel. And uh, when we got back, I took my money and went in and paid off the drum set. I wanted to have good credit yeah. in Nashville. I was living with a songwriter. And... Uh, we, uh, after we had one more show in, in the States, in Georgia with this band. And then the guy called and said, well, I guess we're done. I, I, I don't have any more shows. So that was that I had a set of drums and no job, <laughs> you know, but, uh, I got, it was, I'd write my mom for a little money. Yeah. I got the sense that you were super responsible, like financially and just keeping your stuff together in a which is unusual for a young kid. Well, I, I, my dad was a great model for that. Okay. He was a blue collar worker and what he accomplished was amazing. What did your dad do? What What did he do? He was a warehouse manager of a furniture right. store, but he was uh, smart about real estate. Very oh, smart. okay. Okay. Yeah. And back then there was tons of it down in Florida. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, man, it was like very feasible to, to, to become successful buying real estate there.